Welcome to our instructional video on how to create, edit, and deliver inspection reports using Report Form Pro Nitro on Android phones and Android tablets. The first step when using the app for the first time is to tap on My Business Info and enter the information you wish to appear in all of your future reports regarding your inspection business, including your name and business name. You'll need to save your logo to your photo gallery. You can simply take a photo of your logo with your device by tapping on the camera icon or email a digital logo to yourself and save it to your photo gallery so you can insert it into the app by choosing the photo from your library. Adding your phone number and email to your reports is also recommended but optional. When done, hit the Save and Exit button. Tap on New Inspection Report to begin a new inspection. Start entering the information on page 1 about your inspection by tapping on each item and entering information. To enter a photo of the building you're inspecting, tap on the camera icon directly to the right of Building Photo on page 1. It's easiest to just take a live photo by tapping on Take a Photo or you can choose a photo from your device library. Continue to fill out the rest of the page by tapping on each item and entering the required information in the fields. When finished with the info on page 1, tap on the Next button in the lower right corner to proceed to page 2. You can tap on a line item such as Gate at the top of page 2. If the home you're inspecting doesn't have a gate, simply skip that item and leave it blank. This will remove the item from your finished report. If you do wish to include an item in your report, tap on that item. This will open the rating area for each item. Tap on Satisfactory, Fair, Poor, NA, Inspected, or Not Inspected to give each item a rating. Next, you have the option to enter notes. Tap into the Notes section and your keyboard will appear on your device. Another way to enter notes is the Quick Comments button. When you tap on the Quick Comments button, a list of preloaded comments will appear. You can customize these to be anything you'd like to use often in your reports. To insert the Quick Comment into your report, simply tap on the comment. To customize a comment, tap on the Edit icon. When you're done, tap on the Save icon. The Refresh button in the upper left corner will reset your Quick Comments back to the factory default at any time you choose. You can exit the Quick Comment page at any time by tapping on the X in the upper right corner of your screen. A third way to enter notes is to tap on the microphone icon to incorporate voice to text by speaking clearly into your device. This allows for faster custom note writing. When done entering notes, tap away from the notes section and the keyboard will disappear. Now you're ready to add optional photos to your report simply tap on the Add Photo button. Just the same as entering your business logo, you'll have the option to take a photo or choose one from your library. Photos taken using the app are not stored on your device, so you may want to take important photos with the camera app on your phone or a separate digital camera in case you need to supply a larger copy to the client later on. Landscape photos typically work best to tighten up your report, so it's best to take your photos with your device turned sideways. However, it is up to you. After you choose a photo for the report, it will appear as you see in the graphic shown here. If you decide to delete the photo, simply tap on the photo again and tap on Confirm to delete. If you don't want to delete the photo, tap on Cancel. To add another photo to your report, simply tap on the Add Photo button again and you can insert another photo. There is no limit for photo entry and you may add as many as you'd like. Keep in mind that adding photos does increase the amount of memory needed to process, email, and store reports, so it's recommended to only enter photos as needed. You can also draw on photos or insert arrows. To draw or add an arrow, Tap on the photo and then tap on the action you wish to perform. If you don't like what you've done, hit the Refresh button. When done, hit the Save button. When you're satisfied with the information entered for a certain field, you'll have two methods for navigating through the report. The first option is to simply tap the Next button in the upper right-hand corner, which will take you into the rating area for the next item on your checklist. 
The other option is to tap the back button, which will take you back to the entire list of items for the last page you were on in the report. As you can see, there's a green check indicating you've given a rating for the item. If you included a photo, you'll also be able to see the photo icon as well. Any checklist item without a rating, notes, or photo will not appear in the PDF report created by the app. Continue to fill out the information using the same method until you reach page 6, Additional Details. This page gives you the opportunity to add custom items to the report. To add details, tap on the blue plus sign found in the upper right corner of your screen. Tap on Name and give the item a title, such as Outdoor Ceiling Fan. Just like all other typical items found in the report, you may rate each custom item and add optional photos. When you're finished with the item, simply tap Done in the upper right corner. You may also delete each custom item at any time by tapping on the Delete button. After you've entered all of the custom items needed for your report, you can tap on the Next button in the lower right corner of your screen. Now you'll be on page 7, the Summary page. From here, you'll enter a summary of your report. Tap in the Summary area to enter your summary information. You may type, use a custom quick comment, or use voice to text. To create your PDF file, tap on the Finish button in the lower right corner of your screen. You'll now be automatically taken back to the home page. A message will appear stating that your inspection has been completed. If you have a large report full of photos, this may take a minute, so please be patient. You'll now be automatically taken back to the home page. Users will have the option to view, edit, print, and share the PDF report right from the mobile device by tapping on View Edit Reports. This is the View Edit Reports page. All reports are listed by the address, and you can see when each report was created as well as modified. Tap on the report you'd like to share or edit, and this window will appear. Tap on View to see your report. A box will appear asking you to confirm. Tap on Confirm to continue. Please give the application time to process your report. This time may vary based upon the amount of information in your report. Now you'll see your report appear. If you plan on delivering the report immediately, you'll be able to look over the report right on your device. To navigate through each page of your report, tap on the Previous and Next buttons on the bottom of the page. When you're done reviewing the report, hit the Back button in the upper left corner of your screen. This will take you to the back to the page where you can also share or edit the report. Editing your reports is optional. You may skip this step if you're satisfied with the report. If you'd like to make any changes to your report, simply tap on the Edit button. This will bring you back into the original form used to create the report. You can always go back and add or remove photos or edit text as needed. When done editing, go through the report navigation to the summary page again and tap on Finish Report. If you'd like to share or print your report, tap on the Share button. This screen allows you to share your report with any compatible printer. You also will have the ability to share your reports via email or save them to the cloud if you choose. The easiest way to send a report is via email. Tap on the Mail icon and your default mail app will launch. The report will be automatically attached as you can see. You may now email your report directly by entering an email address for your client in the To line. You can add any details you'd like to the email subject line or in the body of the email. Hit Send when done. A connection to the Internet is required for your report to deliver. Congratulations! You've now completed your first report using Report Form Pro Nitro. After your report's been delivered to your client, we recommend you save a digital copy on a computer or using a cloud service of your own choosing to store your reports. We also recommend you print a copy and save it for your own records. If you're a new inspector, it's a good idea to also keep a spreadsheet with a list of all your past inspections labeled with the address and date. This always comes in handy. 
Once your completed report is delivered, saved, and recorded for your records, we recommend you return to the View Edit Reports page and delete your old reports. This will improve the performance of both your app and your device. If you have any questions or need help, email staff at homeinspectionform.com. Include the subject line, Help with Report Form Pro Nitro for Android.